Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the panel loops. So panel loops require uh, the polygroups to be done. So once you have done the polygroups, uh, you just uh, need to hit panel loops here. And there are uh, several options which actually define this model. So let me just hit panel loops and you should be able to see you got some result where every group has been separated and elevated with some bevel details here. And that is what we are going to control in this particular model, in this workflow. So we have uh, the panel loops set to one and then you should be able to see uh, the model has been you know separated and then uh, it has only one particular uh, loop uh, you should be able to see that okay so let me just uh, undo it and then go for uh, panel loops of two and then you should be able to see uh, it has been taken into i mean there's a shape going inside and then coming here and then shape going like that so panel loops of uh, three uh, you have uh, more subdivision at this point you should be able to see that uh, which was not there in uh, the panel subdivision one so it's only one uh, loop which is going on here so if i just take this to five and then you should be able to see one two three four five loops to build up that panel and this panels uh, you know cross section is controlled by uh, this option here i mean this graph here so let's say if i modify this and then do the panel loops and you should be able to see that uh, change has been applied to this uh, panels so you can uh, modify uh, how this panels should work um, I mean just go here and then come down like that and uh, see that cross section is properly defined here so uh, we also have uh, options here for called double now what that actually means is uh, very purposefully I've deleted a side of this model and you should be able to see the the plane is uh, i mean it's a single sheet it's not thick panel but when we choose double and then when we apply panel it's uh, creating a thick uh, panel like that uh, on both sides and uh, we have uh, options of thickness 0 0.005 uh, will give you a thickness of this whereas 0 0.01 gives a thickness of that 0 0.1 gives this so the thickness is uh, controlled here so 0 0.05 should do fine and then we got the panels here uh, we have polish uh, the polish is defaultly applied to the model uh, i'll just go to the deformer menu here deformation menu and then increase the noise to this model and then go to the geometry section and then choose the panel loops and you should be able to see all the noise what we had in the model is completely gone let me choose the polish to zero and then you don't see such uh, effect on the model so polish is uh, going to refine or clean that model completely for you uh, right now i've got ignore groups button and when i apply panel loop it's not really doing anything here but it has created that paneling sort of work on the border of this model uh, you can also uh, just select the model like that and then do the panel loops and then it is going to create uh, the panel loops here okay <laughs> Uh, we have a uh, uh, inner which is uh, basically nothing but when we are applying the panel you should be able to i'll just switch off the ignore groups when i'm applying panel you should be able to see that panels forming here going inside when i say inner and uh, the the loop cutting is formed outside the model okay um, you have uh, append option okay uh, so I just uh, uh, I've hidden uh, the overall model and then switched on the append option and then when I say panel loop uh, it is uh, more or less working like uh, the extract but it's actually paneling with that considering all the groups also and then if you could able to see if I'm moving this model it's a separate set of uh, model so it's appending a new model to the existing model uh, if I do this one and then do the panel loop and then you should be able to see it's completely the same model um, on which the paneling has been done. So append is that. Uh, then we have a option like, uh, um, you know, regroup uh, panels. So when I'm just applying this panel loop, um, when I'm, I mean, you should be able to see the grouping is as it is. And every panel also has got their own loops there. But when I say regroup the panels and then do that, so all panels are in one polygon group. However, I can choose uh, regrouping the loops also where all the panels are in one group there. So how you want polygrouping should be done is what this is going to do. And bevel amount is uh, 
uh, controlled here so if bevel amount is not there the bevel is not going to take shape so that is bevel i mean the impact of bevel on this edges is seen higher as we increase the value and uh, we have elevation value however we have thickness and bevel which are controlling the amount of uh, you know displacement the mod the model is pushing outside but if you see when i am taking a negative value and then i when i am taking the positive value of the elevation the model the amount of model which is going outside is controlled with this value so negative value is like not doing any displacement where positive value is pushing out model there and as i told you this is the bevel profile and uh, panel loops are great way to make a normal character into more sci-fi like something like cyborg let me take this uh, uh, female face and then um, just uh, try to loop uh, the i press control w and then we got this poly grouping here and also i will uh, break this like that um it's not perfectly cutting up so i'll just uh, go to the lasso tool and then so you should be able to see i've uh, created these panels make sure that you don't have any subdivisions and then when i apply paneling and you should be able to see the model has been chipped off like that to avoid any distortions there i can uh, suggest a uh, taking less amount of polish or in fact completely remove the polish there and then the amount of thickness is actually affecting the model here so i'm going to take a very less value uh, of uh, thickness 0.005 and then see the way this model is looking now um, uh, you could see this kind of uh, chipping of uh, pieces uh, in robots and all so anything like cyborg or mechanical definitely this is going to help you a lot even when you are doing hard surface model it's all about panels so you need to check that thing